I wanted to study in a world-class university and Bristol was one of the top 10 universities in the UK. It's also a great place to live and I really lucked out in choosing Bristol as my second home. We have 11 different LLM pathways and they range from a general legal studies pathway right through to something more specialist. I came to Bristol to do an LLM in international law. My master's was in health law and society. I wanted to actually feel like I was making a difference, so I said human rights law is probably the best course to take. Because we're a large law school, we've got a lot of research interests, and those research interests help us to develop interesting programmes and a lot of choice. For my optional units, I chose international law and human rights, international dispute resolution, international law of the sea and environmental law. I chose armed conflict and migration law. I essentially had the whole breadth of law courses available. It really helped to tailor some of the learning that I had. Because it's research-led, I think that we give them more depth, stronger critical and analytical skills, and I think that we give them something that's more personal. I think that having a research-informed curriculum was important to me when I was choosing where to study and the strength of Bristol Law for research was a key factor in that. Being taught in a way which is led by staff members' research really makes you feel like you're understanding how the discipline is living and breathing and developing over time. We do things like IT law, we also look at data protection. I think students are going to be inspired by how technology can promote social justice, be it in the area of fintech, trying to avoid things like fraud protection and how to create secure online spaces and you put that in a global perspective and there's plenty to be excited about. The MA course is really interesting. It's a two-year program which makes it different from most of the conversion courses. I didn't want to do a one-year GDL and I was looking at courses that could offer a well-rounded structure and could give me the core legal skills that I required to become a successful lawyer in the future. I really wanted the extra time that this course offers. I wanted a bit more time with the material, a bit more depth academically. Also, I wanted to be more part of a university. 80% at least of the students in my classes are coming from non-UK jurisdictions. I met people from China, from Afghanistan, from Latvia, from Luxembourg, from almost every single Latin American country. When you're sat in a seminar discussing about public law in English and Welsh law, someone will pipe up with, oh, you know, this is interesting because it compares to French law because of this, or this is interesting because it's like Canadian law in this way. And it's really interesting to get those different perspectives. Regarding future employability, the law school has a very robust career service that provides a lot of beneficial services for students, whether it's help with CV, providing access to networking events or career fairs, etc. I participated in two internships. The first one was a mentoring scheme. I had a mentor from a city law firm. He was from the corporate team, so it's sort of the direction I wanted to go into. I also took part in the Freedom Law Clinic. That was a really good opportunity. They really try to expose us to more ideas beyond the traditional solicitor barrister route. Especially if you're thinking of working outside London and where can you go that's got a sort of big business hub, that's got lots of entrepreneurship, that's got a big legal scene, then it definitely inspires a lot of people to come here. I fell in love with Bristol, the city, the harbour. I went on runs every day. There's always something to do and you meet people everywhere you go. It's the perfect city.